the sense is a spherical around so on the dorsal aspect of colica on the dorsal side of colica you will find a small chestnut size a spherical sac here okay like this attached with what colica you know this the end point this colica the last point of colica which is known as proctodum procto this actually some people call uh, this col uh, this bursa fabricis or uh, bursa is actually diverticulum of proctodum is what diverticulum mean also sac so there is the bursal duct this is what this bursal duct is uh, making connection with what with proctodum because this is the last portion of this colica is known as what proctodum point is that is simple this bursa will be found on what on the dorsal side of colica or between colica and sacrum because here you will find sacrum bone here you will find sacrum bone okay so this is between sacrum and colica so simply if somebody ask you where is the bursa fabricis you may you can say on the dorsal side of colica that's it easiest way to understand this so other thing is that the size of this bursa is equal to chestnut or spherical is a small size that's clear move on after the, having the idea of grass anatomy when you look into the histological structure of bursa fabricis because first we need to understand the structure then we can understand the function of bursa fabricis so this diagram actually may help you this one actually the cross section in other sense of what of the bursa cross section of the colical bursa or bursa fabricis so people believe that the bursa fabricis histologically have three layers okay one is what inner one mucosal layer okay that's mean mucosa which layer mucosal layer that's mean they have mucosa number two muscular layer which one muscular layer that's mean they have muscles and third one is serosa which serosal layer point is that if you look at this diagram this black the outer one this black covering okay this one this is what this is muscular layer this is what this is a section from the colical bursa this is what muscle layer that simple make it simple which this is what muscle layer okay this inside everything is mucosa this inside everything is you know that mucosa consist of what epithelium mostly and loose connective tissue mostly epithelium and outer side here maybe they have <coughs> some extra external connective tissue or fibrous connective tissue which is actually serosal layer okay but <coughs> we are giving focus to the mucosal layer we are looking into the mucosal layer this is important how <laughs> look here this mucosal layer are organized into many folds organized into there are so many folds you can see organized into folds these folds are known as what they have specific name they are called as pellicula they are called as it's believe that they all the time of hatching bursa have 11 to 13 folds how much 11 to 13 folds they are so many folds okay if you pick one fold from here if you pick one fold from here so this is your single fold this is your single fold thing you need to understand here a single fold 
have so many follicles have so many this red this red round structure is what you must remember this this is what follicles that's clear so point is that a bursa actually have many folds bursa actually have many folds and a single fold inside have many follicles inside have many follicles so if you look structurally this they have this this lining this black lining will be known as what this is a surface epithelium this is a surface epithelium okay and other epithelium which is covering this follicle which is covering follicle this is actually known as follicle associated epithelium f a e f a e what does it mean f a e follicle associated epithelium this surface epithelium is better called as what i inter follicular epithelium i f e i f e i f e mean what inter follicular epithelium f a mean follicle associated you know this bursa fabris is what it is actually lympho epithelial organ what does it mean mainly they have epithelium and lymphoid cell mainly they have epithelium and lymphoid cell is you can call lymphoid organ but this you can better call as lympho epithelial organ better called as lympho epithelial organ so we are looking at here the structure you are there is so many folds each fold have so many follicles this is important each fold have so many follicles move on this structure each follicle each follicle have two compartment each follicle have this this middle one is known as medulla this middle one or central one is known as this outer one okay this outer structure is better to this outer side between from this blue lining to black this is known as cortex this is known as listen here again this is the structural organization of bursa fabricius what this is bursa okay with many folds this is a single fold with many here is a single follicle this diagrams belong to single follicle this follicle have what medulla and what does it mean it's mean all follicles have same structure you are getting my point so fold all fold have same structure bursa fold and follicles that's clear when you are going to look into the structure of this you will find this this area in middle you know th that is actually bursal lumen this is what <laughs> bursal or bursa lumen this is what bursal lumen that's clear in this middle this thing this is actually this duodenum and you know this fold in between they have loose connective tissue and from this loose connective tissue you will find this is a blood vessel this is a what blood vessels okay and they are entering dividing going to the different follicles okay that's clear when you look into what kind of epithelium what kind of cells a bursa fabricius have you pick one follicle you pick one follicle to understand everything look here this you know this line this blue line is actually basement membrane it is actually our basal lamina here we have on the on the these cells actually this is little problem here the epithelium of bursa fabricius is known as what pseudo stratified 
कालबुलर एपिथेलियम विच कॉल एपिथेलियम स्टीडो सर्टिफाइड सो दिस इज एक्चुअली नॉट ड्रॉन प्रॉपरली दिस लुक लाइक दिस एपिथेलियम इज आई विल मेक दिस क्लियर डोंट वरी सो दे हैव वट कालमुलर स्टीडो प्लीज स्पीक I feel you are not sleeping. I want to know this. There is one thing you need to understand. Look this. Actually, these follicle here, they are. Look here. They are attached with these follicles. Actually, attached with what? Attached with surface epithelium or interfollicular epithelium or inter. So this epithelium. Look here. try to understand this this is important this red side this epithelium is which one ife which one interfollicular epithelium epithelium between different follicles you know this here there is many follicles okay what does it mean interfollicles okay there you may draw a follicle here so this is epithelium between follicle but on that same surface because here there is attachment of follicle with this so this middle epithelium this middle one okay this is what this is what follicular associated epithelium and this follicular associated epithelium go down okay this go inside this follicular associated epithelium continue this hole from here to here like this this is what that's why you can understand that's why this your basement membrane is going down and coming back up to here like this if you take example here on that follicle from here like this on back side we have cortex so this whole structure this whole black from here to here this is what this is fae follicular associated epithelium this upper one this one is what ife interfollicular this is the basement membrane this is what making cortex making medulla making there is something you need to understand if this is fae this is ife here in the middle there is no basement membrane there is this is little unusual things there is no basement but some people believe there is few sportive cell you may find here few sportive cell you may find here so in medulla in, in follicles 98% cells are b lymphocytes 98% cells are because they are responsible for the differentiation and development of b lymphocyte but it doesn't mean 